All right. Well, good morning, everyone. It is 8 a.m. on Wednesday, December 20th, 2023, and we get together most weekday mornings at this time. Now, we will not gather tomorrow on Thursday, the 21st. Any of you that have been around long enough know that once a year, we have an audit. And tomorrow, unfortunately, is the audit day. The audit day is where we have auditors come in and they review our branches and make sure that all the branches are compliant. And then if not, we reach out to see what we can do to resolve it. So no morning training tomorrow because it's the annual audit. But then we'll be back on Friday. But today is an incredibly important topic. And, and I know when I pitch it this way, it can sound almost too good to be true, but it's not. So just give me the benefit of the doubt. Hear me out. Try it, which will cost you nothing, and I'll prove it to you. But if your goal is to make more money, assuming that you're one of our distribution partners, you want to help people, you want to teach people, you don't want to be involved with sales, but you want to make good money, full-time, side gig, whichever, then I'm going to show you exactly how to make it happen. And it's crazy simple. And you don't have to sell anyone. And to try it, you don't have to spend any money. So you, you, you can't come up with, I think, any objections. If you're currently not one of our distribution partners, you can go to chapmanloanprogram.org. Go down here and fill this out. And we actually have a promotion going on now through Christmas. If you refer someone that comes in and becomes one of our financial literacy educators, one of our distribution partners, we will send you 10000 in quick cash the following day because we need to really ramp up our team. So we've got a big push here at the end of the year. So if you are one of our distribution partners today, it, it, it could be, I'll say life-changing. That sounds like a bit much, but from a professional side and income side, I think it will be. And if you're not, you can become one here. And in either case, if you know of anyone that would like to earn extra money legally, legitimately, ethically, while helping people without any selling, you can refer them in and make the 10000 How would you do that? Submit their information on this blank here, on this form here, put referred by you, and then help them complete the enrollment form. So step one, step two. Okay, but let's get to the meat of the matter. So big picture, what, what do we know? We know that there are lots of entrepreneurs, meaning small business owners. Some of them have a business, some of them don't. Some of them are kind of in between. They've maybe started or wanted to start or started and stopped. It doesn't matter. But if, if it's an entrepreneur that wants or needs capital to start to grow to reach their potential, then you and I have a solution to that. And it's not make-believe, it's not too good to be true, it's not a scam. It is, through the grant, what we call the Startup Business Funding Package. So that's the what. Why is it the solution? Because we help people, and we can educate anyone, but if they want our help, then they enroll through you. And we help them have a fundable business. That's what we do, is we help create fundable businesses. Well, what does that mean? I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through this. We've gone through it each morning, every morning, but it's described here. It's described in the proposal. Sorry, it's described in the press release. There's a full training video. So if you don't know, like the back of your hand, what it takes for a business to be fundable, here's your homework assignment, because it's not really what we want to dig into today. It's in words. It's in the proposal. It's in the press release. It's in the YouTube video. It's here. But let's move beyond that. Let's make an assumption that there is a formula for funding, which there is, and that it will take any business and make them fund them. So if that's the case, then what is it that we need to be able to help people and make money? We need leads. Leads become clients. Clients generate income for you. So we need leads that become clients. Then you make money. How do we get leads? And, and I get this question from so many of you, some of you who are successful with us, some of them not so much, some of you not so much, but the bottom line is leads. We need leads. We need leads. 
Well, there's lots of different ways to generate leads. And we're big believers in educating leads through financial literacy, but that doesn't replace the need for the lead to teach. So let's step back. What is the best way, I believe, the absolute most predictable, most successful way to generate leads? It's to get referrals. Referrals. Now, you could get referrals lots of places, lots of ways. One of which, of course, could be by clients. You enroll a client and that client refers other clients. And, and so that's always valuable. But let's step that aside. Let's step aside from that. Let's assume that you're early on and you don't have any clients yet through our program. So you can't get referrals from current clients because you're new. You don't have any clients. Where would we get referrals from? Where would we get referrals from that, that could benefit from the education, that could benefit from the grant, that would enroll in the program, that would generate money for you and help them? I would think we'd want to get referrals from other business-to-business -business professionals. So what does that mean? Well, accountants, bookkeepers, attorneys, business coaches, real estate agents, insurance agents, and so forth. We, When we do the in-person training, which we have restarted, we used to do it all the time before COVID, we had this big whiteboard. It must have been 20 feet long in our office. We've since, since relocated. But on that whiteboard, we mapped out what we call the entrepreneurial ecosystem. And we, we kind of drafted out in, in a graphic form, you know, who, who are all the players in the in the entrepreneurial ecosystem? So you got bankers and attorneys and website developers and business coaches and so forth. So those people are out there and they probably have clients and or know of, of prospective clients of theirs that could benefit from what you and I do, right? Because let's just simplify it down. Let's go to an accountant. Do you think that accountants have a relationship with small businesses where they would know if the small business is looking for capital to start or grow? A business to, to reach their potential, of course. So there are certainly other business to business professionals who are out there that have existing client relationships that would refer to you if they knew who you were and what you do. I think we can agree with that. So let's say that again. There are certainly other business to business professionals out in the marketplace that if they knew who you are and what you do, that they would refer to you, right? That, that's a fact. But what's the problem? They don't know who you are, or not enough of them know who you are. Not enough of them know what you do. So they have clients with needs, but they're not getting helped, and you're not making any money from those referrals because the referrals aren't happening. So how do we close that gap? How do we get in the right place at the right time to get a consistent stream of referrals? One way to do that is through networking. Now, networking is a general term that can mean different things to different people. And there are different organizations, and we have no financial interest in b and I used to work for a bank, State Farm Bank. Most people think of State Farm as insurance agents. I didn't work for agent. I worked for the bank. So when I was with the bank, they paid, and, and I, I was a member of BNI. So I have a personal testimony. I have no current involvement, no financial incentive, so no conflict of interest. BNI, I encourage you to consider BNI.com, Business Networking International. It's a whole business model based around generating referrals. Now, again, I'm not a salesperson for them. I'm not really qualified to, to tell you all about them, but I'll give you a high level and then I'll, I'll give you an inside look. So the concept of BNI is that they create chapters and a chapter could meet in person, online, or be hybrid. Before COVID, it was always in person. They're pretty rigid as far as meeting every week. 
because they they want to have continuity just like you and i talk about we don't want dabblers that are our distribution partners they don't want dabblers involved in their chapters they want active professionals so they meet weekly there's some chapters meet in person only some online only some have hybrid of each chapter it's typically composed of a group of professionals in a specific geographic area. Well, that makes a lot of sense if they're meeting in person, right? You wouldn't want to fly from Columbus, Ohio to Miami, Florida once a week to, to meet. They restrict the membership of each chapter to only one professional per category. They call it a chair, but let's just call it a category. And I'm going to show you an example of that. So there would be one, only one commercial realtor. Let's stop there. Why would you like to network with a commercial realtor? Well, a commercial realtor works with businesses that are looking to either lease or buy office space. And that could be obviously a great conversation for small businesses or businesses in general that need funding. Each chapter has one accountant. So what would that accountant do? Obviously, that accountant's doing the taxes, doing the planning, and we know with small businesses. So you can see the, the concept that each chapter is composed of just one type of each profession. So let's go ahead and look at an example so it just is, is more tangible to you. And again, you can go mess around with BNI, you can go find a meeting and, and so forth. But here, is an example of a local chapter where I'm at. And so I just want to go through. So I'm, I'm, I'm logged in here showing you the membership breakdown. If you choose to join BNI, you'll be able to log in and you'll be able to look up these professionals of each category anywhere in the country. So at your fingertips, you'll have a thousand business bankers that you can contact and ask for referrals. You'll have a thousand CPAs that you can reach out to and ask for referrals. And you have immediate credibility because you're a member of that organization. You're not just a stranger. You're not just an outsider. So for this one chapter, which isn't the chapter you would join, that, that's not my goal, but I want you to see the type of professionals. So in no particular order with Aaron McFart. McFatridge, and I, I don't know Aaron, I don't know any of these people, I don't think. So I've sorted on one chapter, and so this chapter is called the Moneymaker Chapter. Kind of corny, but it's okay, that's, that's the name. They meet in Longview, which you can see. The geographic region they're in is East Texas. None of that really matters to you. What really matters to you is this category. So it, let's say that you did live in Longview, which I know you don't but th there's chapters in your area too. But let's say you lived in Longview and each week you could go sit down and have lunch with Aaron. Well, what does Aaron do? He's a business training and coach, business trainer and coach. So Aaron works with current businesses, entrepreneurs. He's out looking for more businesses to work with. And if he knew what you did, if he knew that you're able to help any business become fundable, and get at least 250000 do you think that that could be of interest to Aaron? I think so. Because if nothing else, Aaron's clients could get 250000 and afford more coaching. So Aaron is a real person, whom I don't know, that you literally, if you were a member of this chapter, would sit down and have lunch with once a week. Aaron would know you. You would know Aaron. Frankly, you could refer clients to him that you feel like could benefit from his training and coaching, and he could refer to you. Well, that's a good start. Now we have Alex Hubbard. Well, this is this guy is in auto and car sales. Great, great. Do you think he has ever has clients that come in that's looking to buy a business automobile, but their business isn't credible, that it's not fundable? I bet you so. So do you think if you sat down once a week and had lunch with Alex and he knew who you were and you knew who he was, that he might have referrals if, if he had top of mind awareness of you and your resources? Absolutely. Now, when we go through the chapter, or I'm sorry, the, the, well, the chapter's membership, 
not everyone is on the business side. Some of them are on the consumer side. So here we have Andrew, and he's in flooring, which is subdivision of construction. Yeah, maybe he could refer. I mean, he could refer people to you, but but I, I don't know that he would be one of your primary referral sources like Aaron might be and Alex. But nonetheless, you can have lunch with Andrew, and at least he knows who you are. And if he runs into anyone that's looking to start or grow a business, he could refer them to you. We have Armando, who's in roofing and gutters. Again, we'd call him more secondary, countertop person, secondary. A caterer? Hmm. Well, that could be good. So Caitlin's a caterer. Well, businesses often cater, especially this time of year for holiday uh, gatherings. And so I, I bet it would be good for you to sit down with Caitlin once a week, have lunch and make sure that she knows that if she ha runs into any small businesses that needs funding to start to grow to reach their potential to refer to you, but still less direct, not a primary uh, source of referrals. Another construction, real estate cleaning. This is excellent, right? Because Candy is out calling on small businesses every freaking day trying to get cleaning contracts. Do you think that she could very easily build into her conversation about you and how you help people? Now, remember, any of these people could refer directly to you, but if you were setting up regular workshops, which we've been talking about doing and, and teaching the 10 mistake topic, if you had that on a regular basis in person or online, then all these people could also be feeding people into your workshop. All right, so there's Candy. So Candy's probably still not primary, but could be very helpful. IT consultants, Catherine. Catherine could be very helpful because every small business probably needs IT support. Catherine's out call. She already has clients, and every day she's out calling on new small businesses for her services. Do you think that she runs into businesses on occasion that might need funding? Or maybe they have a home-based business. She's going to their home to set up their computer setup and realizes they're not fundable because they're home-based. Of course. We have lighting retailers, financial advisors. Excellent. Chris. I bet Chris is working with people, some that are small business owners, others that are looking to, to build their wealth and build their retirement. And entrepreneurship might be part of that. And if they had capital that you could facilitate, so he would be what we call primary. Plumber, we'll call him secondary. Office supplies, holy Moses, Batman. Cody, he's out calling on fucking small businesses every day trying to sell paper and pencils. You don't think that he is in front of small business. So this is like having a whole sales team that's out working for you and you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay all they would want you to do is to refer to them when you have a client that has a need. Heating and cooling, we'll call that secondary, electrician, secondary. Again, any of these people could refer to you, but we're really looking for the primary. Life and disability insurance, Crystal. would really be great to have lunch with Crystal every week because she's out calling on individuals and small businesses. Animal boarding, <laughs> probably secondary. Now, any of these people, in fact, may want funding for their own business, but that's not the point. Fences, we'll call that secondary. Retail other, I don't know much about that. We'll call secondary. Restoration, probably secondary. Food service, probably secondary, because they're, they're target. When I'm saying secondary, it means that the target audience of these people are consumers, where you and I are primarily focused on businesses. Uh, real estate would be great. Can you imagine sitting down with JP every week, having lunch, and JP knows inside and out what you do? Because when you go to these meetings, you do an introduction, and you tell everybody, you'll stand up. Now, if you're doing it online, it's different. But if you're in the in-person meeting, you'll stand up, and you'll, you'll have a 30-second to 60-second spiel where you'll introduce yourself to all these people every week, every week. So they get to really know you. So JP would be great. Commercial cleaning, awesome. I guess we had cleaning a while ago. Where did we have cleaning? Yeah, so I guess, uh, so I apologize. I guess maybe Candy is residential cleaning. I didn't pick up on that. And then Jason is commercial, but excellent. 
residential mortgages, eh, not, not as useful. Security systems would be great because we know Josh was out calling on small businesses looking to, to get security systems put up in those businesses. And if he knew you, he could refer to you. Chiropractor, we'll call secondary, travel agent, secondary, painter, secondary. Limousine service would be primary because Linda's running back and forth to the airport shuttling employees of companies. Employment agency would be great because Lisa is working with businesses that are growing that need staff. And if they need staff, they might benefit from more funding. Window cleaning, secondary, furniture retailer, secondary, nonprofit, probably secondary. Health insurance is great. Michael's out calling on small businesses every day trying to help them get health insurance either for the owner and the and or the employees. So if Michael was really part of your sales team, he was out actually promoting you as well as himself, wouldn't that be valuable? Of course. Another IT consultant, I don't know what the difference is from that category from the other. Auto detailing, cabinet maker, accounting, Robin. I mean, Robin is awesome. You want to sit right next to Robin at lunch because Robin is a bookkeeper. Robin is working with small businesses and their numbers actively, right? That's at the core of what you need. Promotional products is great. Steve's out calling on small businesses, trying to get them to buy bumper stickers and flyers and whatever. Energy service, probably secondary, and then commercial insurance. I mean, spot on here. So this is just one chapter, but you can look up the chapters in your area and then decide. So here's the way that it works with BNI. You can go to any chapter as a visitor, unless it's changed since I went, which was a few years ago when I worked at the bank. But at least the way it was then, you could go to any chapter, in other words, find a meeting here, and go twice. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to join. You get to meet people. You, you can start getting referrals. Literally, every meeting that you go to with these types of people, I would expect that you'll walk away with five to 10 referrals every week. Now, these are hot referrals. These are not warm. They're not cold. So let, let's go through it. So if Aaron refers to you, here's what Aaron has done. Aaron has already introduced to his client who you are and what you do. And Aaron has already gotten that client's permission to give their name and number to you. And then what will happen at lunch when you're sitting in the room with Aaron, Aaron will go to the front of the room and say, I have a referral for George Baker, or I have a referral for Gilbert Perez, or Jehud Johnson, or Jeanette Shepard, or Ken Boy, Lon Fennell, Misty Cornwell. We've got, we have 532 of you on today. So you would be the only one in the room that Aaron would refer to, but he would literally go in the front and refer to you. And he would give you a little slip of paper to say, here's the person's contact information. So your chance of closing that lead is about 95, 97%, because it's coming as a warm referral from someone they know and they trust. They're expecting you to contact them. They want you to contact them. Is this not a far superior way than posting fucking Craigslist ads or some of these things that we're currently doing? Get warm referrals. The need is out there. The issue is some of you are not visible enough. You're not connected in your community. So no one knows who you are or what you do. What will be expected from you is you don't pay Aaron anything for that referral. But what you would do is once you sign that client up at the next meeting, you would go to the front of the room and say, I'd like to thank Aaron McFatridge for the referral. Uh, that referral closed and that re referral was worth $25,000 to me. You know, and what that value would be, whatever you're charging up front for the startup program and whatever performance fee you're putting on the back end. They just want acknowledgement. They just want recognition. Aaron doesn't want any part of your money. He can't accept any part of your money. So I want to open it up for your feedback. We're going to use the Q&A function, question and answer of Zoom. Who has questions on the value of referral marketing? Who of you have questions that prevents you from at least exploring this? 
going to a meeting twice for free. Why wouldn't you go do this? Terrence, why won't you go do this? Your numbers are not very good. Trevor, why won't you do this? Your numbers are not very good. Sally, why won't you do this? Your numbers are not very good. So for any of you that are not hitting your numbers, well, frankly, any of you that are, I need to know, is this something that you're willing to try? Go find a meeting and go twice and see how it works. Doesn't cost you anything. Or if no, tell me why. Tell me what your better idea is as we finish up 2023 and go into the new year, 2024. How else do you plan to get five to 10 hot leads every week? Because if you do this, you'll get them. You'll absolutely get them. Okay, so I'm looking for feedback. So Adam, thanks for joining us. Please type your feedback. Andrew, thank you for joining us. Please type your feedback. Well, we have multiple Andrews. Bernard, feedback. Bobby, looking for your feedback. Candace, thank you for joining us. Your feedback. Carol, thank you for joining us. I, I, and then again, if, if you don't like the idea, state it. Tell me why you don't like it, because I need that feedback. I don't understand what would keep you from at least trying this. Now, let's get into some advanced strategies. So let's say that you try it and you like it and it works. So you've joined a BNI chapter. And so just pretend this is the chapter that you've joined. Fine. So you will see these people each week at lunch or breakfast, whenever they meet. So they'll know you, you'll know them, and uh, they refer to you. But what else can you do? And I made reference to this earlier. You'll be a member of BNI. You'll be able to go into their directory and you could look up every other training coach in the freaking world and reach out to them and introduce yourself. There, there are a number of, of advanced strategies once you're in, but I want to keep it simple right now. The, the simple is go to bni.com and follow the steps, right? It says getting started is easy. Find a meeting, get an invite, and attend. Again, when I was involved, it was all in person. Now they have Three different options, in-person, online, or hybrid. I can't speak to the hybrid or online. I think you'll most likely get the best results if it's in person, but you know, we live in a new distance-based uh, society. But if you're not hitting your numbers, you're not successful, if you're not helping people, you're not making money, we need to do something different. And what I've proposed to you today over the past 30 minutes or so is a proven model that you can go to two meetings to, to any chapter for free, start getting referrals, start developing relationships. All right, so it looks like Charles is asking, what's he going to need to, to, to pull this off? And, and that's an astute question. So if you're going to the in-person meeting, which is the only one I've gone to, the only one I can speak of, you'll wanna bring business cards. And that makes sense, right? Because each of you who are distribution partners, you are a branch. We call you a branch office. So it's private label. You're going out under your branding, not under our branding, not under Andrew's branding, not under Bobby's branding, but under your branding. If you don't have branding, fine, we'll fix it. Come over here, go through the two steps, and we'll set up an entity so you have branding and you have funding. You could go out to the marketplaces for profit or nonprofit. But back to Charles' question is that when you go to the meeting, you'll need to be able to represent yourself, obviously, professionally. And so you'll want to bring business cards. You say, oh, I don't have business cards. Fine. Go to Vistaprint, right? You can go to Vistaprint, vistaprint.com. And you can go get yourself some business cards. Click on this. I didn't prepare for this. You can go get business cards. We can get 100 of them for $18, right? So, so we're not going to come up with some sort of financial excuse of how we can't afford business cards. $18 in this example. So you will need business cards. Other than that, I, I don't think you, you'll need anything. But they do a physical, or at least they used to do a physical card exchange. So it's kind of fascinating. So when you leave that meeting, 
you will have a business card if you went to this group, which you probably wouldn't. You would have Aaron's card and Alex's card and Andrew's card and so forth. So you'd have all these people's cards. Now, there's other categories, by the way. So you can go to your meeting and see who's a member of your chapter. But you'll walk away with, with everyone's, is there more? No, with everyone's cards. And everyone will walk away with your cards. So you will want to get cards. If you don't have business cards, uh, you'll want to do that. But you can get these ordered and they'll ship them to you in a couple of days. So who has questions, comments, concerns before we wrap it up? If you're one of our branch offices, we love you. We're so appreciative that you're here, that you're helping us carry forth the mission. You're helping us educate. And, and certainly doing this with these people can help facilitate developing workshops and filling workshops. You could even do some collaborative workshops. And that's what I did when I worked for the bank. So let's say I approached my, my key core referral partner. So maybe Aaron, and then we had the, uh, oops, went too far with the commercial insurance, maybe Tracy, and then we had the bookkeeper, Robin. You, you might take some people that are really the best referral sources and put together a joint workshop. So you talk about your topic and each of them talks about their own topic. So the point is, through these relationships of other business-to-business -business professionals, you can not only get leads on a regular basis that you don't have to pay for, but also facilitate workshops. But in closing, if you are one of our distribution partners, we have promises to you and you have promises to us. One of the promises that you made is that you wouldn't dabble, that you'd be actively involved. Frankly, if you have one workshop a month, you should be great in terms of side income and compliance. But if you're not doing anything, that's not being compliant. And that's what they're going to be reviewing tomorrow. So again, I mentioned no training tomorrow morning on Thursday, December 21st, because of the annual audit. If uh, you don't pass the audit, we'll be reaching out to you. But anyone else have questions, comments, concerns that I can help you with on uh, this topic? Yes, uh, we'll uh, get a recording of this out. But the end story, it's remarkably simple to implement. Go to BNI.com. Go to BNI.com. Go to BNI.com. And then follow their lead. Because right they're, they're, they know what they're doing. They tell you how to get started. So if you take nothing else from this today, go to BNI.com, find a meeting, get an invite, and go to one or two meetings. Now, I should dis, uh, disclose this. If you decide to go join and you join one group like this, uh, the BNI Moneymakers. Now, there's other groups, but if you go to this group and you're a member of this group, they don't want you to go join another group because, for instance, Aaron's going to refer to you all of his business but he wants recipro reciprocity. So if you're going to refer a business training coach client to someone, he wants it referred to him. So it's kind of a closed model. So can you visit other chapters, other meetings? Absolutely. But you would only be a member of one. Can you reach out to people from other organizations? And um, so there's his information, I guess, Aaron, good looking guy. You can call and you can email him. So again, forgetting referrals can't beat it. All right, with that being said, we've talked enough. Uh, it, it's really the point of, of implementing. If you're not hitting your numbers, please consider this. Try it. Let us know how it works. We'll see you back Friday morning. No training tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.